We are finally leaving our hotel now and we're all heading out. It is Boracay time. I'm really excited for this portion of the trip where we get to do the relaxation at the airport now. We were all standing here engaged in a full-on conversation about pooping and farting and stuff and I literally just straight up yelled like, dude my farts just randomly stopped smelling and then two fans came up and asked for a picture next to us. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Casetify. I have been using Casetify for the past few years now and I have not regretted it at all. I've dropped my phone like a billion times. Nope, it works. But it's still intact and working. So what's amazing about them is their exceptional quality and innovative design, which really sets them apart from other cases as the go-to choice for phone cases and accessories. And speaking of go-to choices, Caseify's clear case, which is like this, is actually their most requested case ever. These cases offer UV defender technology that's optimized to prevent yellowing. So your case will look brand new for as long as you have it, which is amazing because I hate when my cases just turn yellow over time or dirty over time like that. My old phone cases kept looking dirty every few months, but I've actually never had this issue with my clear case. I actually have one that I've been using for so long. It literally is has been great. Their clear cases are also MagSafe compatible, which is amazing because I can use my Caseify wireless charger without having to remove my phone case. And in addition, Caseify's clear cases are made of shock absorbent plant-based material, which provides military grade drop protection of up to 6.6 .6 feet. Let's put Caseify's clear case to the test with a drop test. Still works. Caseify cases are more than just cases, they're canvases. They come in a ton of different designs and can be customized with different fonts and layouts. Through their artist program, Caseify showcases a range of exclusive designs from artists worldwide, allowing you to discover a design that resonates with your style. My personal favorite is Bondo Jane. I personally love her designs on the phone cases. They are amazing. If you'd like to try Caseify's clear case for yourself, go to caseify.com slash Ivani for 15% off of your order. Let's get back to the video now. About to board to Boracay. I don't even know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Boracay Airport. It's so small. Is it? Oh. The whole airport is so small. It's so cute. This is literally baggage claim right here. Wow, I love that. That was like the easiest baggage claim ever. Like, they just dropped it off and it was so easy. Huh. You have to go through the usual LAX or anything crazy to pick up your luggage. We just got uh, the car. Oh, cute. they gave us towels as we just got here before taking the boat. This is so nice. What the heck? Oh, um, so pretty. What? Thank you. You doggy. Oh. Whoa. Walking on this blue thing out to the boat. The weather is actually not too bad. It's like a little humid, but I don't feel like it's that hot for what's supposed to be like a, an island. Like they're here. Here. Voila! And as soon as we get off, there's people playing the drums here. The sand is white. Woo. We're on. This is also a job broke, so we have to feed the bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, just got to my room. So, quick room tour. Um, this is the bathroom. What the? Wait, this. Wait, what the? Oh, it's a see-through. Oh my God, it's see-through. I could pee while. Seeing someone shower if there were. Yeah, you know, God, that's crazy. Wow, this is so nice. Okay, well, this is the bathroom. It turns out they give you, you know, a lot of uh, little stuff, travel goodies thing here. Oh, <gasps> there's a tub! Oh my God, I've been wanting a tub for so long. Fuck yeah, I get a tub in this. Um, 
And there's a see-through window right here. Oh, I guess you could bring that down if you don't want some spine on you. In the same room as you. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, oh my god, this room is so nice. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is great. Wow. Oh my god, it looks so pretty from here. I feel like there's been 10 billion people who just asked me like, for one? Oh, just one in the room? And one? Yes! Jesus Christ. Yes! Yes! It's better because I get these this whole thing to myself. Look! Giant bottles of water? For me? Don't mind if I do. Okay, but they gave me a hat. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's um it's close to a sun hat. It feels like it's in between a sun hat and a cowboy hat. And they got me a tote bag. I'm going to breakfast um, quickly before our day of events. We are gonna go jet skiing, I think, at 11, and then shopping, because I realized I literally only bought one bathing suit, and I kind of want to just get one more. Um, yeah, other than that, that's all the plans I have for that I know as of now. Um, Heading over to breakfast and checking that out because everyone said it was really good. Uh, yes, they always got the juices. Oh my god, this looks hella good. Look at this. This breakfast is included in the room or with the room. Um, they have yogurts here, fruit, sushi, and kimchi cold noodles. I want to try this tofu thing. They have some congee as well. Uh, meats and cheese section, then some bread with the toaster. My god, pizza. Oh my god, this stuff looks so good. The eggs look perfect. And uh, they also have some butter chicken stew and pork belly. Scrambled egg contains egg. <laughs> some other dishes here bacon and stuff. Salad station with enoki mushroom. Oh, okay, this is random assortment of things, but I got some scrambled eggs, pork belly, um, omelet, some beef slices, and this is like a rainbow croissant type of thing. It has the like, colors on it. I got a latte, and then there's also a smoothie, a mango smoothie thing, and some tofu. Oh my god, the omelet is so good, and the beef is so good. What the heck? This croissant. It has colors inside of it. Cat, is this like a streak? A streak. Oh my god, there's two of them. They're so cute. I am in my hotel room, and I think in about like 20 minutes, we're gonna head to the lobby to go jet skiing. But I know I'm gonna have a blast, and like I've been, it's been something I've been wanting to do for so long and stuff. Um, do you guys ever feel like sometimes um, your mood does not necessarily match like the vibes of uh, <coughs> either uh, everyone being happy on a trip or uh, you know you're about to go like see a bunch of friends or like socialize but like obviously um, not feeling um, in the mood to do so but um, like I know when I'm there, I will still have fun and um, <coughs> like talking to people would be great and be able to actually probably make me feel better too. But I think like leading up to it, it's kind of like, oh, I kind of just like um, want to just mope, <laughs> honestly, and just uh, go through all of like the feelings in my hotel room and just like chill. But while also simultaneously wanting to do things because I'm here and everything, right? But uh, I guess you don't really choose when you feel this type of way and it just so happens to be like literally 20 minutes. I, I, I've been feeling this for about like an hour before we're going um, because I think Leslie was like, oh, it's like we're gonna go at 11 and I basically woke up um, and the whole morning I had been feeling very... Uh, down and I just didn't feel ready like when she said 11 I was like oh like 
I can, like I was thinking like oh can we do later but at the same time it was like if I just keep stalling I'm never gonna do start my day or do anything like that so it's good that there's a time and there's a plan and like things are organized too like I'm not even the one doing the organizing you know so sorry I'm just like rambling at this point but um something that stood out to me when I was at Conquest or other things about the people said about my vlogs was they're like oh I love your vlogs um and I like that you like share a lot with us sometimes even if it's harder or it's like whatever like yeah this is one of like the harder times that I just want to <sighs> it's not it's not I feel it a lot internally I'm not like crying I'm not like doing anything so it's like I'm still okay talking about it and everything um, but yeah I just think you guys get it right like there must have been times where you also had to go somewhere or had to be in like a social situation and you're just not ready for it or like not that you're not ready for it but like the mood is just not does not match the vibes and you're not trying to bring anyone else down either or um make it like my personality you know what i mean <laughs> like just i'm sad and like i'm gonna be sad forever no i don't want i don't want to and i don't like doing that i kind of like um trying to make the best of an experience or whatever it is if i can mm. and then i could always be sad after um at least that's how i see it i always like to try to at least like uh be optimistic and like, oh like this it could be worse or this isn't that bad um but a lot of times when you do that to a certain extent, it like puts yourself or your actual feelings on the back burner. And so I think anytime that I'm alone right now, like I feel that a lot more because I've been putting it on the back burner a lot because I've been like busy trying to keep myself um, distracted or do other things and all that. Um, so I don't think about the sad things, but yeah, it's just uh, a lot of it afterwards. Um, and then I feel like I have to write in my notes sometimes to just like get it all out and talk about it because it's very hard for me to talk about it with um either people who uh, know what i'm going through like i've talked to them about it like a billion times you know i'm not gonna talk about it there's only so many things that it's not that i don't have friends to go to like my friends would always be there for me but um you can't really bother i don't want to at least bother them with the same repetitive thing time and time again the things i've always already been said and so there are a lot of things that you have to process and deal with on your own to like get over it and not burden other people at the same time, right? So um, I've been trying to like watch TikToks or um, like write things in my notes. So I sometimes when I write things, it helps me get over it. I like verbalize things more. <laughs> yeah, so that is where I'm at right now. <laughs> I have 15 minutes. Um, to get my <laughs> shit together, but I will be fine. Um, if anything, this is very therapeutic, so, uh, honestly, just thank you guys so much for giving me, like, making me feel like I have a place where I can express something, and it feels really good when, not that I want you guys to be sad, but it is very nice, um, when other people can relate and just understand how you feel, like, it gives a sense of, like, belonging and like you just get it you know so yeah i'm gonna try to put myself together or pull myself together <laughs> um before leaving but um just wanted to share that with you guys um i will be doing my best to just try to relax and do whatever this trip i booked a massage for five and i haven't gotten a facial in like a really really long time like in general so i want to try booking for that and um yeah uh, I'm gonna, I will try to vlog jet skiing if possible, um, but I just don't know how it's gonna be with the water and everything and if I should even bring my phone and all that or where, so, you know, it'll be, it'll be, uh, random sporadic, so I'm sorry if the clips or videos are just not very put together. I'm sorry. I haven't worn a bathing suit in forever. Hello. This is our ride to the jet ski Scotty's Action Sports Network. We're going to go. <laughs> I 
have a bunch of these floaty walkways. So scary. Yeah, I know. They go, they move as you go. <laughs> yeah. This one's disconnected. You have to step over it. Oh gosh. We're on the boat now. We're on the boat to head over to the jet ski area. <laughs> Holy, we made it. What a tear. We're about to do it. Let's go, Avon. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was so fun. That was, it was, especially when you turn too and you go like, and you tried to drift and everything. Oh my god, the drifting part was the most fun. Or like turning, turning. I ate so much salt water. From what? Oh yeah, yeah. They hurt from like holding the handle. Yeah. They're like sore. We got to the shopping area. Oh, oh. And that looks like this. Oh, so cool. Whoa. So is this a spot? This is a place? Googly eye ice cream? Oh yeah. Dude, this is fucking huge. Yeah, that's what she said. Can't confirm it's delicious. It's so good. Thank you. Mmm, how do I wanna try this? <laughs> looks delicious. I want the dessert so badly. Chicken before four of us just take like little sniffed bite shit of it. Hey. The Try my piece first. Try my piece first. Okay, yeah. Do, do I, you know, I'll take both. Yeah, <laughs> mine is way more tender. No, no, no. Mine is way more tender. Like, do you want me to eat it until yeah, you're yeah, yeah, more tender? Yeah. Look at her chewing so much. <laughs> it's so good, just savoring the taste. I want to be a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eat it. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm really. <laughs> They, they were both not no, 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 like, no. <laughs> like yours was a lot fat, his was not that tender, and so both of them were just like. See, his is not that tender. The taste is great. We didn't ask about the flavor. It's here. It looks so good. Mix, 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 mix. <laughs> Wait, don't mix all the ice. What? <laughs> so don't mix mix it? Really oh, everyone with their cameras hey. You put it down, you're literally right I there. Press it it's moment, okay. Okay. You fucking liar. <laughs> That's been sitting in front of us. Oh shit. That was good. That's a lot. The ice cream is really good. <laughs> All these shops alongside the beach. We are gonna get something here. You know, I wanted to get strawberry banana, but they don't have strawberry. And then watermelon banana. I don't know. I want to get something banana. I not watermelon also sounds refreshing, but the two combined just does not sound. Thank you. Oh my god, they spelled my name right here. That's crazy. I can spell my name right in the Philippines, but not at fucking Starbucks. Bro! Going to McDonald's now, and look what we found in front of it. Baby! Or a time I need they have chicken wings and stuff. Or chicken drumsticks. Oh my god. They have the mushroom pepper steak, and they have spaghetti here. I, I think chicken and spaghetti are kind of like, or spaghetti are like the two combos. Chicken and spaghetti. Yeah, like Jollibee also had the same thing. I wonder if it's good taste. It's similar. Straight up tastes like Chef Boyardee. Spaghetti is sweeter at Jollibee. This one tastes more meaty. I like meaty. You like meaty? Yeah. Pop. 
Uh, McDonald's is more meaty. Good morning. I'm going to breakfast with everyone. It is our second full day here, so um, I think today we're gonna go snorkeling and then uh, I have no oh snorkeling and then we're gonna take pictures at the beach or lunch and then take pictures by the beach maybe and then um, sh swimming like actual swimming through the day because these past two days we have not gone to the pool or anything. This is my um, chill fit of the day. I like that all the hotels kind of can offer to do laundry for you so I can rewear like shirts and just not be grungy. Yee breakfast right now and they got cinnamon rolls and donuts. Mmm. The noodle bar here. I'm getting some noodles because I didn't get it yesterday. Pancakes, brunch toast, and rainbow pancakes. My breakfast is always a ragtag random stuff because I like trying everything so it always looks freaking weird like this. <laughs> Got like curry fish ball, a quarter of a boiled egg, chicken, chicken, noodles. I don't know anymore, man. This looks so cute. Look at the rainbow pancake. It is snorkeling time. We're all going snorkeling. So we're all meeting in the lobby and then we're gonna go. I haven't been snorkeling in forever, so I'm really excited and I don't know what we're gonna see, but some fishies. Um, last time I got to snorkel was stingray, so that was really cool. Scared. I got sunburn yesterday like on my shoulders and everything. And I think I'm gonna get sense. Oh, thank you. You can't get burned if you've already been burned at right now, so Wait, you're good. don't you get more burned? No. <laughs> what? Came over and trying to sell us coconuts. They're hustling. I want one. Is it? There she's going. It's coconut. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little funny. <laughs> Get him. We're going. I look like a hot mess, but. I had to get out because my eyes are burning so bad from the salt water because the water is really salty. But there's a lot of fish, like just in this front area here. No. You, she was the one who's just like, well, there's not much fish like over here, but it, certain parts has it. And then like they come in a club and then like have like a little meeting and then they disperse. So <laughs> they like run away. Got back, took a quick, quick rinse, and then now I'm um, going to Azur, which is one of the restaurants here, to grab some food with Plebsley. And um, yeah, just before my facial, because I booked a facial. Our dinner tonight, and oh my goodness. Although, what is this? This looks very pretty. This um, plating right here, though, a little questionable. It looks eaten. <laughs> what? She said it looks eaten. <laughs> oh, bro, don't say that. The lobster ravioli, they eventually came. It's like a little bubble, bubble bath in the middle. Trying to get um, a bit of swim time in before, since it's our last day, and looky. So pretty now, the sun's about to set. Pretty. Oh my god, the sunset is so pretty right now. It's so pastel. There's you can see like the sun over there, it's all yellow. And then there's Anthony taking pictures for doing me. What? But it's real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll have some of what she's having. Me and Doobie looking like a kid right now. <laughs> she's a cute. Please proceed to buffet. What? Please proceed to buffet? Here's our last dinner here. So I got the Hainan chicken. Good morning. I'm sad because it is um, our last morning here. So. I have about like two hours until I have to pack and then head over to the airport um, because I have to arrange a car to get us on a boat again to like get to the airport and stuff. So yeah, I actually have to leave kind of soon. I'm gonna go eat breakfast with everyone for the last time here. And then I'm um, gonna go to the airport to head over to Korea to meet up with um, a lot of OTV and other people. So whew. It's, I can't believe my trip isn't over. I can't believe I'm still going. Like, I feel like, because everyone here is going home. And so I feel like, oh, like, everyone's already going home and I'm still staying. I'm the only one who's still staying. Um, but okay. 
it's fine. It's gonna be great. I know that this is kind of like a hump where I feel like, oh my god, I've been here for a long time and I kind of miss home and I want to go back. But Asia is really fucking awesome and like Korea and Japan are awesome places to go to and I just feel like maybe once I'm more settled in or like here longer then I'll get over like a little bit of feeling homesick and stuff but I miss Somi a lot and so I don't know that's about it that's I'm gonna head over to breakfast now before last breakfast <laughs> Jamie got bullied by some kid at the pool the other day and this kid is at breakfast now and he keeps looking at her and like <laughs> laughing at her <laughs> He won't leave her alone. My room, you've served me well, uh, but today is travel day basically. Uh, just gonna be at the airport for 10 billion hours until uh, my flight to Korea. Leaving the beach to civilization. This place, it's beautiful. It's like shops and stuff, and then departures <laughs> right in front of the airport. Look at how big the airport is. This is its whole thing. Finally settled in now, and this is like the inside of the airport. Oh my god, they have a Starbucks here! I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to be here for three hours, but they have a Starbucks. You know what? I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Three hours though, I'm here three hours early. Decided to get some Starbucks before my flight, and uh, I saw the guy write on the piece of paper because I got like a flatbread. He spelled my name right, Yvonne, because they just spell it right here. And then I was reading, um, uh, replies to my stories when I when I posted about that and you guys were saying that Yvonne is a lot more common of a name here so they know how to spell it and I'm like oh my god so why it's the best here it's the best thank you look I'm gonna cry it's real life it's not fake it's real <laughs> on our way back to Manila airport